This video will show you how to do a basic if-then statement in Excel. Here I have three columns showing the sales representative name, their employment status as in full-time or part-time, and the third column showing their sales results in terms of how much of their sales target they met. Let's say there are two different bonus structures for the sales reps, one for the full-time representatives and one for the part-time representatives, and I want to show that here in column D. I probably wouldn't use an if statement for something as simple as this, but we'll do it here for illustrative purposes. So what I'm going to do is position my cursor here in cell D2, then click on Formulas. If statements are contained within the logical section, but you can also do a search for if under this insert function button here. So I'm going to click on logical, then select if. The formula wizard should then appear. This is a great little wizard to help you through formulas if you are not comfortable typing the syntax for the formula yourself. The first field here asks us for the logical test. It's the field that is asking us what we want to evaluate, so in other words, if what. So here we want to evaluate if the employment status in column B is full time. So while my cursor is in that first field, I'm then going to click on cell B2 and then press the equal sign on my keyboard, then I'm going to type full time. Now because this is text we are referring to here rather than a number, we need to put it in inverted commas around the text. So I'll type inverted comma, full time, then a closed inverted comma. Now you can see in the formula bar up the top that the syntax for the formula is starting to appear in the background. I am now going to position my cursor in the second field which is asking me what to display if the condition we specified above is true. So in other words, if cell B2 equals full time, what should it display? In here I will type bonus 1. Note that I don't need to put inverted commas here, Excel does that for you. It's only in the logical test field above that we need to use inverted commas if we are using text. So I have told Excel that if the employment status in cell B2 says full time, then make the words bonus 1 appear. Now I need to tell Excel what to display if cell B2 doesn't equal full time, which I do here in the value is false field. So I will simply type bonus 2 here and then click on OK. Now if I copy that formula down the rest of the column by positioning my cursor in the bottom right hand corner of the cell and double clicking, you then see that any time it says full time here in column B, it shows bonus 1, and any time it says part time here in column B, it shows bonus 2. Now I'm just going to delete the formula in the first cell. For those of you that like to type the formula out directly, I'll show you how to do that here. Let's type equals if open parentheses. Now you'll notice Excel gives you a little prompt here showing you the syntax for the formula. So the first thing it is asking me for is the logical test. So I'll click on cell B2, press the equal sign on my keyboard, inverted comma, full time, closed inverted comma, then I need to follow it up with a comma to separate the logical condition here from the results that we want it to show. It's now prompting me for the value to display if the condition is true. Now because we are not in the wizard, I need to actually type the inverted commas around the words this time. So inverted comma, bonus one, closed inverted comma, followed up by a comma to separate the value is true from the value is false. Now it's asking for the value as false, so I will type inverted comma, bonus 2, closed inverted comma, and finally a closed parentheses. So we've said if B2 equals full time, then display the words bonus 1, otherwise display the words bonus 2. If I now hit enter, it should give the result bonus 1. Now I'm going to show you an if statement here dealing with numbers in your logical test or condition. Let's say in this column I want all those that achieved 100% or more of their sales target to display the word bonus and all those that made under 100% of their sales target to display the words no bonus. 
I'll use the wizard this time. I'll click on cell E2, then click on the formulas tab, then logical, then select if. My formula wizard appears. I'll put my cursor in the first field, which is the logical test or condition, then click on cell C2. The logical test I want is if C2 is greater than or equal to 100%. So I type the greater than sign on my keyboard, followed by the equal sign. Now this time, because we are dealing with numbers and not text, I simply type in 100%. There's no need for inverted commas. I then need to tell Excel what to display if that condition is true. And I simply type bonus. And if it's not true, type no bonus here. So in other words, if this target here is 100% or more, then display the word bonus. Otherwise, display the words no bonus. If I then click on OK and copy the formula down the column, my results should appear here. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If that was too simple for you, there is also an advanced if statement tutorial on our channel, so have a look for that. Thank you.